up. I went upstairs. I said, Marjorie Dawson, Marjorie, we got a problem. When I explained it to her, Marjorie started crying. Matters. And today we have an issue and a woman who is here to talk about what's really going on. I am here with Mary Harvey. Steve Harvey's life is the epitome of success, right? The TV host, comedian, and author with his smooth talk and wisecracks has long been known as America's family man, offering advice on relationships and raising children, all while maintaining a picture-perfect public image. Huh, but as the old saying goes, not everything is as it seems. Special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown unit, which means that any movement within that unit is controlled and coordinated, and no inmate moves outside of his cell without being in full restraints to include uh, leg irons, handcuffs, a belly chain, and at least two, if not three, staff members escorting them. Today, we're diving into a story that might just shatter the carefully constructed facade Steve Harvey has built over the years. You won't believe the shocking revelations that have emerged tying Steve Harvey to none other than Sean Diddy Combs. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't just a story about Steve's divorce or Diddy's legal issues. This is about an alleged affair that could unravel the Harvey we thought we knew. So buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into a world of secrets, betrayal, and the dark side of celebrity life. This took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. Diddy's recent arrest has sent shockwaves to the entertainment world. So once Untouchable Mobile is now facing serious legal charges, and while the details of his alleged crimes have left everyone reeling, it's what his arrest has uncovered about other celebrities that's truly explosive. Steve Harvey, with his clean-cut image and tell it like it is charm may not be as innocent as we've been led to believe. And at the center of the storm is Steve's ex-wife, Mary Shackelford, who claims she holds a dark secret that could blow the lid off Steve Harvey's entire public persona. And Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact that... Let's rewind a little. Back in the early 2000s, Steve and Mary were one of the most well-known couples in Hollywood. On the outside, they seem like a power duo, but behind the scenes, their marriage was crumbling. According to Mary, things started going downhill after she caught Steve in what can only be described as a scandalous situation, one involving none other than Diddy. Yes, the same Diddy who is now facing criminal charges for his alleged involvement in an illegal enterprise. Rumor has it that Mary caught Steve at one of Diddy's infamous parties, a night that left her reeling and set their marriage spiraling toward divorce. Now, you might be uh, wondering what exactly happened at that party. Well, according to insiders close to the situation, Mary allegedly walked in on Steve and Diddy in a compromising position, one that rocked her to her core. The story goes that Steve was heavily involved in Diddy's party scene, a world filled with excess and indulgence that was far from the wholesome image he projected on television. Hey, Marjorie, the oh, thing that Marjorie's not telling you telling all. everybody yes. this? Okay, now don't, don't, don't. Let me start telling Steve this. So, but here's the kicker Mary claims that after she caught Steve with Diddy, she was sworn to secrecy. And how, you ask? Well, Steve didn't just rely on good faith to keep her quiet. So reportedly, he paid her a hefty sum during their divorce settlement to ensure that she wouldn't spill the details of what really happened that night. On the surface, it looked like a regular divorce with a division of property and financial settlements. But according to Mary, part of that money wasn't just for splitting assets, it was hush money. You know, he's a man with the power. He's in 60 markets. He's written these books. You know, he's socially connected with the programs and Disney and all these type people. Think about it. Steve Harvey, the man who preaches about faith, family values, and moral integrity, could have been living a double life. Could the Steve Harvey we've seen on TV all these years really be hiding a secret so dark it would ruin his career? If what Mary says is true, then everything we believed about him might be a carefully crafted illusion. Of course, Steve has denied any involvement in such scandals, maintaining that his divorce from Mary was just a case of irreconcilable differences. But Mary's latest revelations suggest otherwise. She has hinted for years that there was more to the story, but now with Diddy's legal troubles making headlines, she's ready to tell it all? You know, I think in federal court and for these charges, they would say it's routine, but in the public realm, this is very significant, just from who we associate Diddy being and everything we've seen him do over the decades like you said this is quite the downfall to go from i mean we saw the mansions back back in march that were raided by the feds so to go from living in those mansions to being in the jail the timing of this revelation couldn't be more perfect or more terrifying for steve diddy's arrest has brought back memories of the wild party scene he was a part of during his heyday these weren't just casual get-togethers they were exclusive over the top events where some of the most powerful people in the industry came together and now the rumors of what went down at these parties are resurfacing painting a disturbing picture Sure. Please stop. Stop ignoring the red flags in your relationship 
and thinking you can change a man. Mary's account lines up with what we know about Diddy's controversial gatherings, which were notorious for their extravagant nature. These events were supposedly more than just parties. They were spectacles of excess that blurred the lines between personal and professional relationships. So Steve, according to Mary, was deeply entrenched in this scene. He took my Winton. Took my Winton from me. He turned my son against me. What's even more intriguing is the power dynamic that seems to have played out behind closed doors. Steve wasn't just an attendee at these parties, he was allegedly a key player, someone who had a vested interest in keeping these gatherings and his involvement under wraps. Ferrari has suggested that Steve's fear wasn't just about his reputation taking a hit, it was about losing everything. His TV empire, his endorsements, and most importantly, his image as the perfect family man could have come crashing down if word got out. But that's where the real twist comes in. It wasn't just about the parties. Our Mary has implied that Steve was terrified of what she might say, not only because of the potential damage to his career, but because of what it would reveal about his relationship with Diddy. According to her, Steve wasn't just worried about being exposed for attending these parties. He was afraid that the truth about his personal interactions with Diddy B would come to light. And now with Diddy's arrest pulling back the curtain on years of secretive behavior, it looks like Mary might finally be ready to reveal everything she knows. There's no closure for me as of today there was never any closure at all. For years, Mary kept quiet, accepting her settlement and moving on with her life, or so it seemed. So, but the truth has a funny way of surfacing when you least expect it. And with Diddy facing serious charges, Mary has found herself at a crossroads. Does she continue to keep Steve's secrets? Or does she finally spill the tea and let the world know what really happened all those years ago? You know, I know you just started dating this year. So how are we gonna handle that? Mary's decision to speak out couldn't have come at a worse time for Steve. His empire is more prominent than ever, with multiple TV shows, best-selling books, and an army of fans who look up to him as a role model. But all of that could come crashing down if Mary's claims are true. After all, no one wants to see their hero fall, especially not when they built their career on being a beacon of morality and family values. What, are you, what would you say? What's been the key to our success? The fact that you respect me and I respect you. So it's hard to say how much of Mary's story is grounded in fact and how much is exaggerated. But one thing is clear Diddy's arrest has opened the door for old wounds to resurface. And it's not just Steve's reputation that's on the line. If Mary's allegations gain traction, Steve could find himself facing public scrutiny unlike anything he's ever experienced before. The media frenzy surrounding Diddy's arrest has already drawn attention to the darker side of the celebrity world and Steve could easily get caught in the crossfire. What's more, the public's appetite for scandal has never been stronger. In an age where social media spreads information at lightning speed, Steve won't be able to escape the whispers and rumors. Every move he makes will be dissected, and every past relationship or questionable friendship will be re-examined under the harsh light of public opinion. And let's not forget that Steve's ex-wife isn't the only one who might have dirt on him. Hollywood is a small world, and as we've seen time and time again, when one person speaks out, others often follow. So could there be more people out there who know about Steve's alleged involvement in Diddy's world? And if so, how long before they start sharing their own stories? The evidence, alleged evidence, that's been and gathered in this case was from those two raids that were conducted on his personal homes in Miami and Los Angeles. And the indictment names the, um, the, the things seized that, they, that he allegedly made videos of these performances and mm -hmm. that have been named for- At this point, all eyes are on Steve Harvey. Will he be able to maintain his squeaky clean image? or will the mounting rumors and accusations finally take him down? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure Steve's life is about to get a whole lot more complicated. As more information comes to light, it's becoming harder and harder to separate fact from fiction, and the lines between Steve's public persona and his private life are starting to blur. Are you serious? Yeah. So you are this, I love my man, but what you mean, but? <laughs> I get it. The cost of rent, groceries, and utilities is too high. So here's what we're gonna do about it. We will lower house. Yeah. So you are this, I love my man, but what you mean, but? With Mary Shackelford ready to reveal her side of the story, the world is left wondering, just how deep does this go? Is Steve Harvey merely guilty by association? Or has he been living a double life all along? Stay tuned, because this is just the beginning of what could be one of the biggest celebrity scandals of the decade. So when speaking of scandals, we haven't even touched on the suspicious details surrounding Steve's current marriage to Marjorie. If you thought his past was messy, wait until you hear what's been going on behind the scenes with his new wife. Could Marjorie be hiding secrets of her own that would further tarnish Steve's already fragile image? My wife, she got a with me. She was the best. As 
the revelations about Steve Harvey's past continue to unravel. The question on everyone's mind is whether his, whether his current marriage to Marjorie Harvey is as pristine as it appears. If Steve's image as a family man is already teetering on the edge due to the shocking claims of his ex-wife Mary, Marjorie's own history might push him over the brink. So, let's dive into this next chapter of the story, The Tangled Web of Steve's Relationship with Marjorie. A woman with her own complex past that's far from the wholesome image they project today. Now, we all know that Steve and Marjorie have been presenting themselves as a power couple, right? They're the picture-perfect duo, vacationing around the world, flaunting luxury, and hosting family gatherings that make everyone else's look dull in comparison. But what if we told you that their seemingly glamorous life is hiding a much darker reality? You are the prize. Don't give yourself to anybody. So it turns out Marjorie's past is not as squeaky clean as her current high fashion, jet-setting lifestyle would have you believe. So in fact, before she was Mrs. Harvey, she was linked to not one, but two men with rather notorious reputations. So that's right, Marjorie's past relationships have been the subject of intense speculation for years. And with Steve's current drama, those skeletons are starting to creep back out of the closet. Let's first say that. You shouldn't feel guilty for anything. So, who were these men? Let's start with her first known relationship. Marjorie was once married to Jim Townsend, a man who, according to various reports, was involved in some very shady activities back in the day. Townsend was no ordinary businessman. He was allegedly running a high-level enterprise that caught the attention of federal authorities. Townsend eventually found himself behind bars for attempting to move massive quantities of illegal substances across state lines. Now, you can probably guess where this is going. Marjorie, as the story goes, was deeply intertwined with his life during that time. While she was never charged with any crimes herself, Rumors swirled that she was very much aware of Townsend's activities. Here's where things get even more interesting. Jim Townsend has spoken out about his relationship with Marjorie. After spending over two decades in prison, Townsend was pardoned and released, and he wasted no time dropping bombshells about his ex-wife. According to Townsend, Marjorie knew a lot more than she let on, and her involvement in his life wasn't as innocent as she's made it out to be. He's even gone so far as to hint that he's planning to write a tell-all book, exposing the full extent of what went down during their marriage. Can you imagine what kind of secrets that book might hold? If Marjorie was linked to illegal activity, what does that say about the man who later married her knowing full well about her past? But hold on, because it doesn't stop there. After her marriage to Townsend fell apart, Marjorie didn't exactly go on to live a quiet life. So instead, she found herself in yet another controversial relationship, this time with Donald Woods. And guess what? Woods also had a reputation that would make anyone raise an eyebrow. He too was allegedly involved in high stakes, underground operations. Again, Marjorie's never officially implicated in any wrongdoing, but once you look at the pattern, it becomes harder to ignore the company she kept. Hey, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, Steve's learning that the hard way tonight. Steve's ex-wife, Mary Harvey, is angry, and she's going public. By the time Marjorie crossed paths with Steve Harvey, she had already weathered two high-profile relationships with men whose activities had landed them in serious trouble. And this begs the question, did Steve know about Marjorie's past when he fell for her? And if he did, why did it didn't erase any red flags? After all, this is the same Steve Harvey who preaches about moral values, about integrity, and about finding the right person to settle down with. Yet, the woman he chose to build his life with had a track record that suggested anything but a clean slate. Stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man. Bob Casey told us... I want to be held accountable if something doesn't work out well. Casey's dangerous sanctuary city policy released an illegal immigrant felon who then raped a young girl. I want to be held accountable. It's time to hold Bob Casey accountable. Bob, um... Hi, I'm Burke, a small business insurance expert from Bye Burke. Entertainer, television host, family man. But most importantly, I happen to be a man of faith. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so Marjorie's past is sketchy, but does that really mean anything for Steve's reputation? Oh, well, here's where things get even more suspicious. According to various insiders, Marjorie's connection to these controversial figures might have played a role in how she and Steve built their empire. Some people are whispering that Steve's meteoric rise to fame and fortune wasn't entirely based on his talent and charm. Instead, there are rumors that Marjorie's past connections helped open certain doors for Steve doors that would have otherwise remained closed. Uh, could it be that Steve's current success is, at least in part, the result of Marjorie's involvement with powerful and potentially dangerous people? Of course, Steve and Marjorie have always brushed off these rumors, presenting a united front and claiming that their love story is one for the ages. So, but if you dig a little deeper, you'll find that their relationship has been marred by scandal from the very beginning. When Steve married Marjorie in 2007, many people raised eyebrows, not just because of her past, but because of the timing. Do you see, Steve was fresh off his divorce from Mary, and there were already rumors swirling that his relationship with Marjorie might have started before his marriage to Mary officially ended. The fact that 
Financially, my life is in a shamble. That is absolutely true. So that's right there claims that Steve and Marjorie tied some race long before Steve's divorce papers were signed. So this would mean that Steve wasn't exactly the faithful husband he portrayed himself to be. In fact, some have speculated that Steve's entire relationship with Marjorie was built on lies and deceit, and that he was willing to do whatever it took to be with her even if it meant betraying the vows he made to Mary. And let's not forget that Mary herself has hinted at this. In interviews, she said that Steve's relationship with Marjorie was one of the main reasons their marriage fell apart. So was Steve really the victim in his divorce or was he playing both sides the whole time? There are some problems that are the defense has brought up originally, but it seems like, just from reading this 14-page indictment, that there is enough physical evidence to perhaps get a conviction in this case. We well shall see. Fast forward to the present, and Steve and Marjorie seem to have it all. They've built a massive empire together, with Steve hosting multiple TV shows, writing books, and making millions from endorsement deals. So meanwhile, Marjorie has positioned herself as a fashion icon and influencer with millions of followers on social media. But with all these new allegations coming to light first about Steve's potential involvement with Diddy and now about Marjorie's questionable past the cracks in their perfect bisecade are starting to show. And let's talk about those cracks for a minute. As Steve really is guilty of the things his ex-wife Mary claims if he really was involved in Diddy's party scene and if Marjorie's past connections played a role in his success, what does that mean for the empire they built? Could it all come crashing down? Right now, it's hard to say, but one thing's for sure, Steve and Marjorie are going to have a hard time maintaining their golden image as more and more people start to question what's really going on behind the scenes. All right, I gotta take some time to address this here. As if that wasn't enough, there's also speculation that Marjorie might not be as loyal to Steve as she appears. Over the years, there have been whispers of infidelity, with some even suggesting that Marjorie has been involved in romantic entanglements outside of her marriage to Steve. These rumors have never been confirmed, of course, but the mere fact that they exist raises questions about the true state of Steve and Marjorie's marriage. Are they really the perfect couple they claim to be? Or are they just putting on a show for the cameras while their real relationship crumbles behind closed doors? Now, so what is next? Uh, is he going to be in jail in this in this facility until the trial begins? Is there a chance he could, you know, get get moved earlier than that? As of this moment, as of this hour, as of today, yes. But of course, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to be appealing this thing um, next to the Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to overturn the judge's order here to try and get him actually released. Um, and let's not forget about the FBI investigation. With Diddy's legal troubles making headlines, some are starting to wonder if Steve's association with Diddy have gotten him in hot water too. And remember, Steve and Diddy go way back. And if Steve was truly involved in the same circles as Diddy during those wild years, there's no telling what kind of skeletons might be lurking in his closet. Could the FBI by looking into Steve's connections as part of their broader investigation into Diddy's alleged criminal activity? While there's no concrete evidence to suggest that Steve is being investigated at this point, it's definitely a possibility that can't be ruled out. At the end of the day, it's clear that the story of Steve and Marjorie Harvey is far more complicated than it appears. Behind the glamorous vacations, designer clothes, and perfectly curated social media posts, there's a deeper, darker story at play. Whether it's Steve's alleged involvement with Diddy's party scene, Marjorie's questionable past, or the rumors of infidelity and scandal, it seems like the Harvey empire is built on shaky ground. And with all these revelations coming to light, it's only a matter of time before something gives. So I don't, I don't give them no energy. I give haters no energy. Steve ain't this. He think he this. You don't even know me. So what happened next? We know you Steve got a fake block. We know you was energy. wearing a fake block. Will the pressure of these rumors finally them down? One thing's for for sure, this story's far from over. As more information starts Fake to ass nigga. a close eye on how Steve and Marjorie respond and whether they'll be able to weather the storm that's brewing. And so because let's face it, in Hollywood, no one's secrets stay hidden forever. But before we wrap this up, let's ask the real question, how much longer can Steve keep up the charade? If even half of these rumors are true, his days as America's beloved family man are numbered. And as more details about Diddy's legal troubles and Marjorie's past continue to emerge, Steve's clean cut image might just be the next casualty in this ever growing scandal. Uh, but it's been like that since 2005 why, so this though? is not that why is it because we have a man of power and authority and he used so after hearing all these explosive revelations what do you think is steve harvey's pristine image as a family man just a cleverly maintained illusion or is there more to the story than meets the eye and what about marjorie do you believe her past connections have played a role in steve's success or is it all just coincidence let us know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching and until next time stay curious